Just while we've got you, then, I just want to speak to you about um, uh, the situation at Manchester Airport this week. And you've got the managing director there, Karen Smart, resigning today with immediate effect. Um, and um, it, it seems to be chaos at this airport. And, and part of it is they can't recruit. It's not only that they can't recruit, Eamon, of course, it's because a lot of people are off work, um, you know, with long COVID um, in quotation marks. Uh, and I don't say that lightly. You know, Charlie Cornish runs the Manchester Airport Group. It also runs uh, the same uh, organisation, Stansted Airport in, in, in London, obviously a huge airport, and East Midlands Airport. And he's called this the most challenging period in our 84 year history. Karen Smart's got a good reputation. She's been with Manchester Airport Group for eight years. She's pretty much run Manchester Airport for the last two years. But there have been weeks and weeks of delays, not just delays, people missing their flights because they're not being processed because there isn't the staff to process them. So yes, there's a recruitment problem, but there's an even bigger problem of not being able to get existing staff to come to work because of ongoing pandemic issues. Some people would say with all okay. respect that they're being overstated. If you look at the number of cases of COVID across the UK, it's falling. If you look at the number of people in intensive care with COVID, it's very, very low. Of course, it's still a nasty virus. Of course, people have died, uh, are dying and will die from it. But very, very few people of working age, if I say so, with all respect, though some, of course, have pre-existing conditions. Now, I'm not saying nobody should, should be isolating if they have yeah. COVID, shouldn't be isolating if they have COVID and they feel bad, but there's no longer a legal requirement okay, to do so. So increasingly employers are going to think okay. you should be at work. Okay, Liam, thank you for being at work today. Liam with his own show from 1pm. Thank you very much indeed.